What's crack like it, everybody, and welcome back to what is another Unlist Elite video where today we're unboxing the brand new Japanese set. There is a brand new Pokemon card set that just came out. I think it was last week. Like, it's literally only a couple days old. But once again, Pokemon are themed it around boxing. Yeah, honestly, at this point, it just seems Pokemon are just really big fans of boxing. But anyway, the brand new sets they just released is this one right here, which is Pokemon Rapid Strike. It's called the Rapid Strike Booster Box. On the front, it's featuring none other than Urshifu. This is like Urshifu's breakout set. He's the mascot. Everyone wants to pull him. He's got like four or five different cards, so that's really sick. But the set was that big. They said, Ando, we're going to have to break it into two sets. So there is also the single strike booster box. So you've got the rapid strike and the single strike. You've got to pick which one. I mean, they're completely different sets as well. They each have their own gold card. So the single strike set has this beautiful looking shiny Houndoom. But if you're a fan of shiny Octillery, you're going to have to go for the rapid strike. And today I was left thinking, I'm like, which one do I want to unbox first? They're both so exciting. It's brand new Pokemon card sets. And these combined will be the one that releases in English later this year. So I thought, you know what? Let's just do one epic video. If everyone could demolish the like button, I'm just going to do an all-out war today, and we're going to decide with one comment down below which set is the better one. So first up, should we start with the single strike booster box? Look at this. Oh man, it's been a hot minute since we've had some new PCG cards. So this is really, really exciting. Look how cool Urshifu looks though. If I can pull my first ever Urshifu card, I might even just get a graded express. Got Houndoom on the side because... Shiny Houndoom is the go-to Pokemon in this set. Got the Yampa with the Pokeball in its mouth, and oh boys, the double barcode is back. Now, I should mention as well, another Pokemon card I am so excited to try and uh, pull in this single strike booster box. There is a Tyranitar, and everyone loves it because there's a cool alternate art to try and pull, as well as a regular full art. Um, Urshifu, as I said, would be fantastic to try and get. And there's like three gold cards, which is like one... I think it's a single strike energy card is what it's called. But obviously, Shining Hound do gold card as well. And I think this is the... There is a set. Oh, which one is it? Let me have a look. Ladies and gentlemen, I've never wanted to throw my phone in the toilet more in my life. But according to... Yep, according to this website, which lists the entire set list, there is a good chance that this set is going to contain a Rainbow Rare Tapper Coco. So, I'm going to pray that that's not the card we get as our Ultra Rare because that'd just kind of be sad, but let's get our boosters out. Look at the Crimson Red though, guys. This is beautiful. Wow, I am so excited for today's video. We get to open not one, but two booster boxes, the entire brand new set, aka Battle Styles in English. And if you want to buy any of these booster boxes, before you have a heart attack in the comments, I will link where to buy them down below on eBay. So it's really, really simple. But I'm going to time lapse me opening the tops of all these off, and let's get this party started. Everybody ready to crack open the very first main release set of 2020. It is a Japanese set, so this does mean the card trick is one from the back and you only get five individual playing cards per booster pack. That's just how they run things. You're not guaranteed a regular rare or like a holo card at the end either. It could just be a regular uncommon. Oh wow, look at that hand-drawn artwork. It's that weird, it looks like a five-year-old drew it, but you know it's artistic. You know it's really good. <gasps> On the first booster, we go and pull Flapple VMAX. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? Single Strike Master might actually be the better set. Already, my, one of my favorite apples ever, it's going to be Flapple. And it's a VMAX. And it's the first pull of the entire opening. That is just epic. Look how cool that looks. I don't know. I'm a really big fan of these 3D um, VMAX sort of cards right now. I don't even care if this turns out to be like... The Galarian Darmanitan of the set. I couldn't care less. If it sells for nothing, the artwork and the Pokemon is good enough in my books. That is so cool. What a good way to start the opening off. Ah, oh, I was going to mention that too. I think this is the set with Flapple in it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is. Now, you'll also see this logo right here. Um, I'm not going to try and pronounce it because I'm going to get it wrong, but... It does translate to um, Single Strike, and then there's a logo on the other one that translates to Rapid Strike. There's just some cards with it on there. 
I don't know why the logo is on some cards but not others. If you guys know, leave a comment. I'd love to find out. Got a common and then... Okay, this energy comes in a full gold form and... Oh, mama! If you thought this was good, wait till you see the Rapid Strike gold cards. They are even better in my books. I think this is probably... On paper, it might be the better set because it's got Tyranitar in there, but in terms of artwork, I think the other set is a bit better. Look at that, Shimeko with like a firework behind him. Got the logo up there. Lick it song. Oh no! That's the fastest way to ruin Ando's day. Give me a Zappa Coco V Max. Oh guys, the artwork is really cool because it's shiny and hand drawn, but it's a Zappa Coco. Like he's in every single set ever. He's got to be like. I know you can say that with Charizard, but gee whiz, Tapu Koko has just really been in like everything recently. Oh well. Oh nice, we got the Yampa. That's really, really cool. Let's put Mustard to the side. Look at that, Yampa holding a Pokeball. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness, guys. This is hinting towards the shiny Hound Doom, I'm sure. But that hand-drawn artwork is so cool. I really want Urshifu as well. It's a new Pokemon, it's like his sort of set. If you can get as many Urshifus as possible, that would be epic. And if you guys are loving it, let me know down below, because I'll go and buy more booster boxes. Whoa, Entei Holo card! This is great. What a set! A little bit miscut, like that's thinner than that, but that's okay. It's actually really uncommon for a Japanese card to be miscut. Like, they're hot on it, they're really, really good. And that's why a lot of people recommend collecting Japanese over English, if you can put up with the translations. Um, some people don't like it, they only like English words, but for me, I couldn't care less. It's about the Pokemon, it's about the imagery, and the quality of cards is always better, except for the print lines. Look at this, it's like a hand-knitted Zubat, that's pretty cool. And then, uh, Bruno! What are you doing? Put you to the side. So they all come as full arts, you know, you can get full art mustard, full art Bruno. The trainers are huge, and because it's a Japanese set, they love them, so they're really expensive. If you get a full art trainer, Pig Knight, what are you doing? And then we got Electabuzz as the common and a Crobat as the holo card. Jeez, this is actually a stonked as roster. I'm digging it. What do you guys think? Let's keep it going though. I wonder what our ultra rare per box is. Because usually that's a cool glaring slowpoke. Um, usually with a Japanese set, you're guaranteed at least one ridiculous pull. Whether it be a rainbow rare, gold card, secret rare of some kind. You should be guaranteed it, and if you're not, you can actually file for a refund with Pokemon saying that you didn't get your Ultra Rare Paul, which is pretty cool. I love that art too. Man, I think it's so exciting as well, like, we get to crack open this set. We're like, alright, that's a cool, like, new release, you know, single strike. But then, say we don't get anything, we miss out on Urshifu or something. Guys, we get a whole nother booster box to go. Getting those regular uncommon trainers, aren't we? Oh, Electabuzz once again. Bit of a dry streak here, but hopefully that's building up to something else. I'd love to see a potential full art card. Oh, not even bad. Okay, Agislash right there in the sword form. Looking good as the holo card. What do you guys think? What are you guys really hoping for? Is there a certain card you've seen on the internet or maybe like you heard me mention it? You're like, that's what I really want. There's a full art Mimikyu in this set as well. What really stands out? Maybe Urshifu I think would be a lot of people's because it's a brand new Pokemon. Um, and especially it's like his first ever main set. So let's keep going. I reckon we're about on the halfway mark. Been a bit 50-50. Maybe the pulls start to kick up towards the front of the booster box right here. Oh, I'm not even too mad. Did anyone else have the problem when you ran into him in like, I think it was Pokemon Emerald? He would just be the worst thing ever on that cave that led up to Rayquaza. I'd always run into him. He'd bust out some move and he was just so powerful. He always had the most ridiculous level on him. Oh, gee whiz. All right, this is cool. We're getting back to, like, the mon- uh, what is it? The Urshifu hangout. We got more Pico in the evil form. He's littering. Look at all this litter. Someone report more Pico to the government. Man's just throwing apples left, right, and center. And a Boltland uncommon. Okay, one for the back. Surely something should be coming up. We got Golbat with the biggest mouth I've ever seen in my entire life. Yampa, Shimeko, and a Scoutland V card. I am really, really digging the Vs this um, sort of set. It's pretty good, isn't it? That's not even bad. Like, these are decent. The cards are good. The hit rates seem to slow down a little bit. Maybe we'll see it pick up. But so far, the hit rates are about, I don't know, a bit shorter than normal. But maybe that's just me. We'll have a look. Alright, my apologies about that. Fixed up the camera. Where were we on this um, booster opening? I think we just got a Boltland again. 
as the regular uncommon. That's a pretty cool, like, rucksack. I'd actually use that. If they made one, I'd take it to the airport and all that. Gee whiz. So there's 30 boosters. 15 on each side for the Japanese booster box. And I reckon, yeah, we've definitely passed the half- Oh, no way! Yes! You're kidding! Oh my goodness me! Ladies and gentlemen, Urshifu VMAX Rainbow Rare on my first ever booster box! You're kidding me! Oh my goodness! Ladies and gentlemen! Oh! Bro, that is insane! We didn't just pull any regular Urshifu, we pulled the Rainbow Rare! This is so good, I can't believe this right now! We got Rainbow Rare Urshifu! Oh, guys. This is like the go-to card, I think this is what everyone hunts for, I reckon. Unless you're going for maybe the gold card. Dude, that's so sick. It's like a comic book drawing and then plastered on the glitter backgrounds. I'm going to put it in the back because I know everyone's probably getting bored of it, but that is just the definition of why I collect cards. I don't even want to put it there. Let's put it here. I'm going to sleeve that up. I'm out of breath. Holy smokes. Dude, we just pulled that. We literally just got that. Oh my god. Alright, so that's obviously... That's the ultra rare of the box. Like, we're not getting anything else. I don't know even... Like, what... what... <sighs> Maybe some more VMAX cards? Because we only got VMAX Flapple? Would we even get a full art? I don't think so. Oh, we got to get Tapu Koko VMAX, didn't we? It's like, it pats me on the head and then goes... It just gives me a couple of those undercuts. Tapu Koko VMAX. It sucks because his colours and artwork are actually okay. Like, I don't mind the card itself. I think it's just a Pokemon... Oh, whatever. I think it's actually impossible to trigger my mood right now. That is unreal. So there we go. I knew we had to get a few more VMAXs because that's Pokemon's way of like brainwashing you that VMAXs are good. So I'll keep putting them in the sets like that. Oh my goodness. I actually wouldn't even mind. Normally if I end up getting a gold energy card, I'd be so triggered. I'd be like, oh, that's my opportunity gone. This is one set I actually wouldn't mind it. Wow. The variety Meowstic? Of um, different holo cards Pokemon are using. Absolutely fantastic. So we're going to escape rope as well, which apparently is really valuable. Super playable sort of card. My man, that's exactly what I look like when I go to the buffet breakfast when I was in Las Vegas once. Legitimately might be like top 10 experience in my whole life, but I just had plates stacked up to here. You guys in America know how to do your buffet breakfasts. Like, you're on, on point. Alright, one from the back. We're nearly done with this first booster box, and guys... After a pull like that, I don't know how it can get any better. It looks like a scene out of Star Wars. So, what is it, about six? Six packs left? My prediction is like, what? One more V-card? Do you think? Or a V-Mac? No, I reckon a V-card. We actually were short of a V-card. Houndoom comes as a holo with the logo on there. I actually don't mind that the logo is actually on these cards. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty cool. I think it adds a bit of flair. Like, it's something different. Anything Pokemon cards do, where it's like new and different, I'm actually a big fan of. You gotta shake- look at that! That's a sick card! And if, like, you gotta imagine you only buy one pack. Like, some people only buy one pack, they don't buy all these booster boxes. That would be, like, I'd be happy with that going home. I get the logo, get the holo card. And regular uncommon Golbat. Fourth to last one! I reckon there's a bit of shine on the back of this one as well. Let's get it going! With none other... Oh, Urshifu regular V! Nice! Okay, so this is the um, single strike regular V Urshifu. So that's like single strike V Max Urshifu Rainbow Rare. Man, I tell you what, if we pull something stupid on the Rapid Strike one, I'm done. I'm retiring off YouTube. Like, this is hands down going down. That's one of the better videos on the channel. So let's keep it rolling. And also, let me know, should I open another box of this? I'm thinking, yeah. Let's do it. Like, we got ages till the next, like, English set comes out, so we might as well fill the time with, like, doing this. Oh, Flapple again! This time, regular V. Loki kind of terrified of that card, though. Like, look at those eyes. That's literally nightmare fuel. Like, I'm a fan of Flapple when I say that's scary. <laughs> Anyone else scared of Flapple or just weird Ando? Okay, let's uh, open up the last pack, and then we'll crack open the other box. Really, really fun opening. Wow. So, can we get something on the final pack? 
Obviously asking for too much. Now, let me clean up the studio, put the cards to the side, and start the other booster box. Alright guys, so this right here is the um, Rapid Strike Booster Box, as you guys know. I personally think this might actually be the better set for a collector. The other one's good for like the mainstream collector, I guess, but if you're really into Pokemon cards, this is probably the one for you. I think, I don't know, the Urshifu cards in this set kind of feel like they're a little bit better. Um, and I know the other one had Tyranitar, but this one has three gold cards that I'll put on screen right now, and aren't they the coolest things ever? Rapid Strike Energy actually looks fantastic, Leverball's like really playable, and Octillery, it's shiny Octillery guys! So they're probably things we'd be on the lookout for, but not overly keen, like that's not the be all and end off we don't get. Uh, either one of those. I think we're just opening this to see what we can get and if we can possibly get a gold card That would make my year like that first booster box was so good. So let's try and equal the pulls Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna find out which set should you buy? That's all this video is letting you guys know what's the new Japanese set you should be purchasing Let's start trimming these things off Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. All I'm gonna say is make sure you do your seatbelts up because if the last booster box was anything to go by, this one right here might have been blessed by Arceus himself. Let's go, one card from the back and let's get this party started. So again, it's about a 70 card set. Got a Bell Sprout, got a Cubone as well. And then we get hit with that regular uncommon. Has got the logo on there for Rapid Strike. So, easiest way to remember, Rapid Strike's the blue set, Single Strike is the red set. Um, <laughs> if you guys were curious, oh no way, what is it? It's the Corvig Knight VMAX Ball on the second booster! Look at that, look at those red! I've literally, oh, I've got it in the other room. I had a Corvig Knight figure, I just bought off the internet. Yo! I kind of love Corvig Knight. There is an amazing plush toy I'm going to put on the screen right now. That's available to buy. Like, you can buy a plush Corvic Knight, which I love. I'm in full force. Like, birds in Pokemon I've always been obsessed with, and this is no exception. Like, it's so cool. The taxi Pokemon? Wow. VMAX Corvic Knight, what do you guys think? So, would you want that in an ultra rare form? Does that tickle your fancy? I don't know. Third booster in. Let's keep going. Only 27 cards to go. We've got the level ball as the gold card in the set once again. Look at that art. Look at the art, guys. It's amazing. I'm in love, Mr. Rhyme, right there. I really wouldn't mind another Urshifu, but maybe that's being greedy. These these girls, as the full art cards, they're known as, like, waifu cards in Pokemon at the moment. Chi whiz. So popular on the, uh, on the internet. So, again, with the hollows. I wonder what the hollow ratio is, guys. It's... I don't... Because I, it used to be... The ratio in a Japanese booster box, I swear... It used to be one in every two packs would be something, and they would just fill it with- That's a cool art. Look at that, got the creamer, got the tea. Really awesome. Oh wow, Octillery has the hollow. But yeah, I swear, a ratio used to be 15 cards were good, 15 cards were bad, and that's how they filled up a Japanese booster box. We'll have to count these up, I'm curious if that's still the case. That Farlinx looks fantastic. Farlinx, because there are so many parts of that Pokemon, I think it always makes it a really good artwork. Especially on a full art card. Yeah, there isn't any Falling Spot in the set, but still makes a cool Pokemon card. Oh, not even too bad! Full Art Mustard as the Secret Rare. Unfortunately, I think this might be the Secret Rare for the box, but do not worry at all. That is, number one, a trainer Full Art. That's fantastic. The artwork looks unreal because it's hand-drawn, but on top of that, the gold cards are most likely randomly still inserted. Like, there's no rules to the gold cards. They can just be in the set. Okay, so Full Up Mustard is our secret rare right there. What do you guys think? Looking good. Uh, I really like the hand-drawn artwork, but at the same time, I don't know. I think I... <laughs> it's weird to say, I either would want a Full Up Waifu Cog said going for ridiculous amounts, or I'd want um, a Pokemon. But no, we can't hate Mustard. Let's just appreciate that we got a Full Up card and not take that for granted. Let's put him at the back. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Really want Urshifu as well, but I think we just did so well in that first box that we've set the bar way too high for this set. You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments though. You're only allowed to pick one, and which one would you recommend me opening up next? What would you be looking at buying? You sort of have seen all the really rare cards. Empoleon! Dude, I didn't even know Empoleon was in this um, set. 
So does Empoleon come as a full art? Because that would be pretty baller. Must do. Dude, alright, okay, it's got a starter. And, like, Empoleon's actually a popular starter as well, so that's very interesting. Maybe he is in this set to help it sell really well? But I don't know, we are flying through- By the way, look how fast we went through that box, like, we're nearly halfway, guys. Oh my gosh, is that a sign of having too much fun with it? Luxoray. Huge petition for people to try and get Luxoray as the shiny gold secret rare in the next set. I mean, Luxoray, I've always been 50-50 on, but... Oh my gosh, it has some fans. Like, there's a lot of people that love it. Okay, another mustard as the uncommon. It's alright, swallow it. It's okay. It's gonna be good. Weeping Bell right now. Let's keep it going. Go to Horsey, and then... Ooh, Steelix! Hand-drawn as well? Gives me the Neo vibes, doesn't it? Mind think a Neo... Not a Neo Discovery card. Maybe a Neo Genesis or something. That's beautiful, though. Man, I love Gen 2. Like, when they slot random Gen 2 bangers in there, all for it. Let's keep going, Frillish, and a Dotler. That's alright. We are well past the halfway right now. Love these, like, in Japan, there's like animes, they literally use those as weapons. They're not fans, those are weapons. Oh, nope, uh, you know what? That's cool! Again, I haven't seen too much of the regular V forms, so Colby Knight V card's actually really, really sick. 190 on the attack as well, nothing to sneeze at. Man, I love the green. I'm sorry if I just stopped talking too. I think as a collector, I sort of just get mesmerized by the artwork. Because when I'm not recording, I think <laughs> you guys don't really see it, but I'll edit and I'll have these cards next to me and I'll just be looking at them. I'll like stop editing for a while and just sort of start staring. Tapu Bulu, what are you doing? Why are the Tapus back in this set? Do they play a big part in the anime with Urshifu or something? I don't know. I'm, big, I'm so disconnected from the brand new anime episodes. Um, but you guys in the comments might be able to give me more like... Light as to why it's up a cocoa on the- Oh, please give me that! I've never wanted a gold card with energies on it in my entire life. Like, even when there's an unlisted leaf energy as the gold card, this is still way more bowler. I don't know, the gold and blue color? Holy mackerel, looks good. Victini V! Nice! Love the shine. Very, very subtle shine, but it's there. We're really, like, racking and stacking. Very curious to do our recap and comparison now. Because Victini's actually a decent V card to try and get. And we are, I think this one has a better variety of cross section, but the other one has really big heavy hitters. Like when you get something, you properly get something. Nice, alright, another holo card. It is looking to be about 15, I reckon 15 hits, 15 not good Pokemon cards, do you think? One in every two packs is going to have something. Let's keep going. Got about, I don't know, eight boosters left. Let's hope for the best with a Cubone. Ah, uh, Kingdra, what are you doing, bud? You're right, I suppose. You can be a holo card, as long as you're not another full art. I've got so many of those uh, full arts from, I think it was Dragon Majesty in my binder. Let's go, Onyx, and another regular hand fan. One from the back. I think I saw a bit of shine. Got Marowak, and then none other. Oh, Necrozma! Yeah, that's right! Why is Necrozma in this set? That's another weird one. Anyway, Necrozma's in this set, and I bet because it's a V-card, just like Empoleon, it's gonna have a full art as well. But that's okay, that's stock standard at this point. Necrozma, very interesting. This has Dragon Majesty sort of vibes, doesn't it? Weird. But oh well, not complaining. Just an observation. Five booster packs left, ladies and gentlemen. You better make a decision. If you're not, really crunch those numbers right now, little Timmy. Oh, yes! Get in, done. I'm done. I'm done. Literally, we're retiring the chair. Retired. No need for it. There is no need for a chair anymore. Oh, get it. It's time. That is so good. Look at that. Rapid Strike. Urshifu VMAX. Lads. That's two. That is two Urshifus one box. Oh, plus our V. Plus our V Urshifu. Okay, okay, we haven't got that many VMAXs slash V cards this episode. Let's hope we can get one more. If I can get four, I'm good to go. Oh, get on my level, that is so good! Oh, I've got the shakes. I wonder how much these sell for. Very curious what the resale on eBay is at the moment for those. I reckon it's pretty good. Heck yeah. Alright, let's go for one more regular V or V Max Urshifu, guys. Mr. Rhyme. Three to go! <laughs> Maybe it's the wrong time to start going for it. Oh, the gold card, please! And if I don't, 
just give this a thumbs up because if we get 10,000 likes on today's video, I swear, I promise, going straight to Japan, order, express shipping, it'll be here by tomorrow. We're unboxing it straight away. I have to do more of this in hunt for those gold cards and just all the Urshifus. The hunt to complete the Urshifus and find this card in gold. Okay, last pack, let's do it. Hold on to your seats. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's all right. Let's have a recap and compare both the booster boxes. Alrighty guys, so coming off the Rapid Strike booster box that we just unboxed, let's have a look at the recap. Um, I think for me personally today, as much as I really like the Rapid Strike, and I think as a collector I want to collect more things out the Rapid Strike, like the gold card and all that, I believe, like look at these pulls, these are great. Necrozma, Victini, Corvig Knight, Empoleon, then there's the VMAXs, Corvig Knight VMAX, Urshifu flipping VMAX, that's amazing. And then Mustard Full Art hand-drawn trainer card, absolute banger. But I don't know, just with the single strike having the Tyranitar, it's got like, you know, really nice Houndoom shiny gold card, and then the Urshifu Rainbow Rare we got, it might take the cake. What do you guys reckon of this recap? I mean, Entei, to start off the holo recap. It's so hard to compete with that, guys. There's a Houndoom as well. I mean, then again, the reason I hate it is because it's got Zappacoco in there. Scoutland, Urshifu V, which looks beautiful. Oh, it's got Flapple. Oh, hands down. Single Strike might actually win, hands down, a lot. Flapple VMAX as well. Zappacoco VMAX, and wow. What an ending! Let me know in the comment section down below which set, in your opinion, is a better one. I hate to say it, but ooh, Single Strike might actually hold the victory in this one. Might have got the big dub. Um, the good old Kappa Coco set. Let me know in the comments. Have a fantastic day. Really hope you enjoyed today's video. And let me know with a like and comment down below if we should open up more of these Japanese sets. I love them. Brand new just came out, and I think we need to do a hunt for all the gold cards and everything else. Alright Urshifu, one last time, until you get graded, keep on gaming. <laughs>